Hey guys, welcome back to Sen Nudies. At the end of this episode, you are going to be able to make yourself this freaking delicious I Kara Kara Orange About You spritz. So stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And most importantly, we're gonna show you how to make lemon cello from scratch, orange cello from scratch, and then tie it all in with a cocktail. And a bunch of other crazy BS. A bunch of BS. random things. You're gonna have to watch me dance around the kitchen. I think I kicked a couple times too. Uh, 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 uh. Finally, we're gonna film something that's super near and dear to my heart, lemon cello. Mm -hmm, she's good at it. And typically I make an orange cello, but today I'm gonna make tangerine cello with Ojai tangerines. These are pixie tangerines. And are they super juicy and super delicious? Pixies picked the tangerines. So lemon cello is traditionally from Italy, of course, but also you can only call it lemon cello if the lemons come from Sorrento or Amalfi. So it's kind of like champagne, right? Like you can't make lemon cello if the lemons aren't from Sorrento or Amalfi. The important thing is that we picked organic local produce. So we did the best that we could. And the skin on these is oh, really nice and thick. Yes, yeah, super beautiful. delicious because we have to peel them. But we don't have a typical peeler. I left everything at home. And mm -hmm. this is what I was provided with today. What the hell is this? It's a Martha Stewart peeler. I have a recipe that I use in my head that's pretty standard, but I take all of my recipes from the granddaddy, Papa Vicario here. So this book is from a man that makes aperitifs and he's super Italian, but oh, this really? is a gift from a very good friend of mine. It has some of the best recipes ever and my copy's signed. So Papa Vicario, thank you for this. So we're gonna do a variation on his recipe today. This is almost two liters of grain neutral alcohol. So Everclear is something I used to drink in college to make swamp juice. <laughs> oh my god. And now we make lemon cello with it. We're so, so grown up. The process is really easy. We're gonna peel, we're gonna add the alcohol to it, shake it up, put it in a container. Two to three weeks later, we strain the peels wow. out and we add simple syrup. Sometimes I'll make a citrus simple syrup. We'll see how we feel in two weeks. And that's basically gonna cut the alcohol because this is 190 proof. Cut it, cut it. Get. So now we gotta get to peeling. Let's get to these peeling. These So now that I've used this, I'm a convert. <laughs> it's literally like just like using your hand to peel. It goes so fast. We've converted her. Hey, you know what's worth noting? You want to make sure you don't get the pith because pith is too bitter. Yeah, that's a good point. So as she's peeling, she's just taking the nice part of the tangerine here. I like to call it the pixie part. Yeah. So this is the pit. Man, that smells good. So you don't want any white on it. No white. This is the peel. When I was in college, I knew how to juggle. Wait. <laughs> ah! So what do you suggest doing with the uh, peeled fruit? If I had more foresight, I would have made a sherbet. Ooh, orange shrimp. Not too late. What else is there to do? Make orange shrimp, orange chicken, orange chicken. Ta da! Here's our pile of stuff. This is our pile of shit. Okay, so now we take our containers. You can use mason jars, anything that's gonna seal. Here we go. And this is just delicious grain alcohol. Mmm, pour it down my throat. two to three weeks, let it sit. Interestingly enough, when I was in Italy, I was talking to a server at a restaurant and he was saying they make their limoncello by just putting the peels with the alcohol and super fine sugar just right in there and water and then they shake it and they let that sit a couple weeks. So maybe we'll try it the other way next time. That's it. All right. We'll put them away. Here we go, people. See you in two weeks. finally here with our finished products. It's been marinating in my closet. It's 
been five weeks, six weeks, at least six weeks. I think it was like before Cinco de Mayo. I don't even know what day it is. I thought the day was Saturday. It's Thursday. So we have a couple more steps. All that we have to do, we are gonna add it's some simple. simple syrup to the strained product. No pun intended. <laughs> it's super and simple. What do you want to do with it when that's done? Today we thought we would show you a simple cocktail recipe that you could do with the lemon or orange cello. Obviously, you can drink it on its own. Well, Sip it after dinner, before dinner, after breakfast, whatever you want to do. We're going to do like a play on Aperol spritz today with no Aperol. I'm going to spritz. No Aperol, <laughs> lots of spritz. Brought to you by the nudies. <laughs> also, a little bit of basil in there. A little bit of a little bit of this, blah, blah, blah. So, we're going to show you the final steps on our cello and then a cocktail. And then we're going to put them in these custom send nudies bottles. Can you believe someone made these for us? Oh my God, our fans are so amazing. <laughs> One for each of us. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Honestly, this color is so beautiful. I have never been so proud of my life. Okay. Now we do. So I did three cups, so that's like one, obviously. Start with one cup, and then we'll shake it, taste it, and go from there. If it even all fits. <gasps> okay, so we did half a cup. To the brim. Oh no, our custom label. <laughs> I think it's perfect. It should be like tart, super tart, That's sweet, and it still burns a little bit because it's alcohol. Yeah. I'm super proud. Let's do the orange cello. First, let me take it little. And now, number two. It's the carrot cara. Ooh. What about carrot cello? <laughs> Onion cello. Brussels sprout cello. Garlic cello. Oh, I mean, if you put anything in a vat with brain alcohol, it's Jell-O, baby. It's, so I did a three-fourths cup. Maybe if we put it in here first and then mix it, that way it won't overflow. Big brain on Bob. Classic movie, What About Bob? Go check it out. <laughs> That's gonna be so good in our spritz. Wow. Wow. Or wow. anything else? Wow. 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 Oh, that is perfect. What do you think? Really splash. So I just added about a tablespoon. Sure. Yes. Oh my god, it's perfect. I think it's great. I needed that tablespoon for sure. Okay, you ready? Alright, spoiler alert, this one is orange. Woo! I'm making a huge mess. That's okay. That's how we fit it in the bottle by spilling it. Cash them outside. How about that? <laughs> Next. We are going to quickly off the cuff come up with an amazing spritz cocktail that you can have. Totally off the cuff. For like brunch, lunch, afternoon, before dinner, in the sun, at after the beach. dinner, 3 a.m. a little bit of this, a little bit We're gonna come back at you, okay? So just stay tuned, okay? Slip the bass, big time. Slap it to bass. All right, so we've decided on our cocktail. We are going to get a little bit of live basil, some garnish. Give it a slap that releases the aroma. I don't know, I saw a bartender do it once or twice. And then we're taking some of our orange cello private label. An ounce and a half, two ounces, whatever people. Just put it in, like around two ounces. Dump that baby all in the mouth. And then you're gonna fill it up to about like me, yay high. Could not have been more perfect if you tried. What else? And then we're gonna do a little bit of basil simple syrup. So basically all I did was I took about two of these heads of basil and I put them in a pot with equal parts sugar and water. And I made a basil simple. Just do it, you dang basil head. And I'm gonna do about one of these, approximately, I don't know, 0.15 ounces if you really wanna measure it. If you don't, that's cool too. 
and then a little bit of garnish. I enjoy this. Listen, it all makes you drunk. Beautiful! There you have it, people. Dang, I was gonna say, let's call it a Sorrento Spritz. Ooh, I love that. We'll do that with lemon basil. Okay, so lemon chillas, a Sorrento Spritz. This is the I care about you, Cara Cara Spritz. I care, care so much about you, Spritz. Mmm, <laughs> wow. I can't even. You about done yourself. Nudie cocktails are the best cocktails. Wow, that's good. So it's a little bit sweet, bright, mm -hmm. and it balances high acidity of the orange. I'm loving it. It's honestly so good. This is the drink of the summer. 2020 is not so bad after all. <laughs> I will agree with that. <laughs> and that's Don't You Up. So that's it? I think that's it. <laughs>